There's good ways to use your points, there's bad ways to use your points, and there's great ways to use your points. Now, earning points can be pretty easy, and we have plenty of videos that go into detail about it, but redeeming points is actually where it gets hard. There's near unlimited options, and to be honest, most of them don't offer you the best value, and will end up resulting in you wasting your points. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about the five best ways to redeem your points. For each one of these five, I'll give you a real world example, walk you through a quick tutorial on each website, and share with you which credit card to use to build up your points balance within each of these programs, the fastest. Number one is redeeming aeroplan points for international first class and business class. The number one airline loyalty program for Canadians is ultimately still going to be Air Canada's program, which is aeroplan. And there are so many different ways to earn aeroplan points, including a bevy of co-branded credit cards from TD, CIBC, and American Express, as well as by transferring American Express membership rewards points to aeroplan at a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, if you live in Canada, you can also earn aeroplan points by linking your accounts with other everyday partners like Starbucks, Uber, LCBO, and Journey Rewards. And once you've accumulated together, enough points you can then redeem these points for aspirational flights on first class and business class around the world and that's where the real value lies in optimizing aeroplan points for your travels now the great thing about aeroplan is that it partners with so many different airlines around the world you've got access to all of the star alliance airlines that air canada is a part of so that includes united lufthansa swiss and so on but aeroplan's also stricken up its own agreements with independent airlines around the world like air mauritius or bamboo airways in vietnam so you've got access to so many partners and you're not just limited to air canada for example one of the best sweet spots with the Aeroplan program is you can fly for only 55,000 points in business class, a very well regarded business class by Japan's All Nippon Airways no less, with incredible Japanese food on board from Vancouver to Tokyo one way. And you can basically earn enough points to book this with just one of the co-branded credit card's welcome bonuses. For example, right now the TD Aeroplan Visa Infinite's offering 50,000 points as a welcome bonus, while the CIBC version of this card's offering 50,000 points. Note that all these offers can change in the future, so if you want to see the most recent offers, check out the link in the description below. Now, if you wanted to cross the Atlantic Ocean and fly to Europe in one of the most luxurious ways possible, then you'll have your eye on Lufthansa First Class, which is another incredible product that you can book with Aeroplan points. You're gonna need 90,000 points for a one-way flight between Frankfurt and Munich or New York and Boston, or 100,000 points if you wanna extend the journey longer and fly to say Houston or Miami or the West Coast on San Francisco or Los Angeles. Lufthansa First Class features what's essentially a suite in the sky, complete with champagne and caviar service, plus one of the most incredible airline ground experiences in Frankfurt known as the Lufthansa First Class Terminal, an entire separate building where first class passengers are wined, dined, and offered the pleasures of a bathtub, complete with collectible rubber duckies, and when the time comes, a private car transfer in a Porsche across the tarmac to your waiting plane for you to board into first class. Again, this is a flight that would normally retail for tens of thousands of dollars, but you can book it for as few as 90,000 Aeroplan points, which is only a handful of welcome bonuses away. When it comes time to redeem your Aeroplan points, how do you actually go about doing this? You hop onto aircanada.com, select the use Aeroplan points option, and then enter your origin, destination, and desired dates. Click search, look at the search results. You can click day by day to select neighboring dates. If you wanna search faster, you can look at a series of search tools out there like Rome Travel. They're a pretty powerful search tool that lets you search a whole bunch of dates at once. And if you wanna see a full video about all the search tools available at your disposal, leave a comment below and we might make a video if there's enough interest. Now, the number two most valuable way to redeem your points right now is to redeem flying blue miles for flights to Europe whether that's in economy class or business class. And this is a great example of a program that's actually quite useful for economy class flights when the conditions are right, but of course can be used for business class as well. Air France KLM Flying Blue is a program that's really making itself felt in Canada right now. The airlines have been expanding their footprint in Canada, but also offering a range of additional incentives for engaging in the program from becoming an American Express transfer partner to introducing its own World Elite MasterCard in partnership with Brim Financial. What's more, the program has recently harmonized its award costs from North America America to Europe. Before, it would cost you a whole bunch of different price points if you were flying from Toronto to Paris or Vancouver to Paris, let's say. Now, everything from North America to Europe is 50,000 miles one way in business class, which is honestly a pretty spectacular deal. If you think about Aeroplan, that'll be at least 60,000 points one way. Flying Blue's coming in lower at 50,000 miles, but there's usually going to be taxes and fees involved to the tune of around 300 Canadian dollars on top of the points. But what Flying Blue does to sweeten the deal even further is that it offers a rotating monthly series of of promo rewards, which is further discounts on certain routes in either economy or business that brings the cost down even lower. A recent example of a promo reward is 25% off business class fares from Montreal or Ottawa over to Paris in Air France business class, which brought the cost of the ticket down to as low as 37,500 miles. If you want to earn flying blue miles, then the best way is to sign up for the Brim Air France World Elite MasterCard or transfer your Amex points at a 1 to 0 0.75 ratio, or if you have US points, those can transfer over at a 1 to 1 ratio as well. And 
And when it comes time to redeem, the best way to do so is to hop onto airfriends.com, log into your account and select the redeem with miles option. And then you can search for your origin, destination and desired date. And here's a quick little tip. If you leave the date empty, then you actually end up with a calendar that shows you all the possible dates and you can select based on how flexible you are. Next on our list, number three is to redeem your points through Marriott Bonvoy so you can enjoy luxurious hotel stays for a fraction of the price or even for free. Now, I've been a huge fan of the Marriott Bonvoy program for years. It's the first hotel loyalty program I ever joined when I was first starting out. It was the first time I redeemed hotel points for I think it was the Renaissance Hotel in Seattle back in Valentine's Day 2016, I believe. So all the way back in the day, which is why I was so delighted when Marriott Bonvoy wanted to sponsor this video, but also become one of our main sponsors at this year's The Travel Summit. The Travel Summit is a must attend for any travel enthusiast, and it's where an entire community gets together to celebrate our shared love of traveling the world on points and cultivating a lifestyle of travel freedom. This year, we're touching down in Toronto for our second edition. It's gonna take place at the Metro Toronto Convention Center on April 26th to 28th, 2024. We'll be welcoming 30 plus speakers, the top voices in the industry to share their perspectives on travel with you, plus hundreds of fellow attendees. So if you're interested in joining us, head to thetravelsummit.com to get your ticket now, especially by March 31st when the prices are gonna go up. But enough of that for now, because in addition to sponsoring the Travel Summit, Marriott Bonvoy also has one of the best hotel loyalty programs around. And let's talk more about that. Now the two credit cards in Canada for Marriott Bonvoy that you'll wanna concentrate on are the American Express Marriott Bonvoy cards one personal, one business. The personal card currently offers 70,000 Bonvoy points upon spending $3,000 in the first three months, plus five times the Bonvoy points per dollar spent on travel and gas purchases, up to 15,000 points, and that could all potentially add up to 85,000 points. Likewise, if you do the math on the business version, that's 75,000 points upon spending $6,000 in the first three months, plus the same five times the points on travel and gas, up to 15,000 points. Added together, that's up to 90,000 points. If you and your spouse both were to apply for the personal and business versions, if you add up the refer a friend bonuses that American Express is also known for, that's a total of up to 380,000 points. Now, what's the best way to redeem all of these hard earned points? Well, let's take a look at the Le Meridian Maldives Resort and Spa, which is situated in the beautiful island paradise of the Maldives, a dream destination for many. One night here costs 65,000 Bonvoy points, so five nights here will only require the equivalent of four times 65,000, which is 270,000 Bonvoy points. Why is it four times the number? Well, that's because of Marriott Bonvoy's fifth night free benefit. When you redeem points for a five night stay, you only need to pay for four nights. That's one of the killer benefits that Marriott Bonvoy offers to squeeze extra value out of your points when it's time to redeem. But that's not all, because both the personal and business Marriott Bonvoy credit cards offers what's known as an anniversary free night certificate. When you renew your card into the second year and years after that, you get a free night worth 35,000 Bonvoy points that you can redeem towards a stay. And each of these certificates worth 35,000 points can get you a night at a luxury resort, ranging from the Regis Seaside Resort in the Turkish town of Chesme, all the way to the Amar Terra Villas Resorts, part of Marriott's autograph collection in the Nusa Dua region of Bali. So if you and your partner would get both of the personal and business Bonvoy cards, you'd have a total of four free night certificates year after year, which will already give you a head start towards your holidays every single year as long as you hold the cards. Now the annual fees on these cards is only $120 for the personal card and $150 for the business cards. So your free night every year will easily outweigh that as long as you redeem them at the right hotels or resorts. Now in terms of how to actually search and book using your Marriott Bonvoy points, it's easy. You simply head to Marriott.com, log into your account, search for the destination that you want to go to and your desired dates, then select use points or certificates. And then when you see the results, you'll see which hotels have space available for you to book on points. Then you can go ahead and click, enter your details, and you're well on your way to a dream points redemption. Number four, best way to spend your points in 2024, that's gonna be redeeming RBC Avion points for Qatar Airways Q Suites. And this, my friends, is a super fun one. Let's talk about the details. Qatar Airways is known as one of the world's best airlines with one of the world's best business class products in the form of Q Suites. If you've seen a normal business class seat, it's kind of like a live flat pod, Pretty simple, lies flat, you've got a little space, that's about it. But Q Suites is on a whole other level. It's an entire space that you get to yourself, whole bunch of different seat features. But the best part is you can lower the divider with your partner and have a shared pseudo double bed in the sky, not a full double bed, because your legs area is still separated, but it's a really intimate, really nice experience to share. And speaking of which, if you're traveling as a group of four, you can lower all the dividers and get a whole quad to yourself. It's like a meeting of the minds in the sky, complete with free flowing champagne. 
incredible wine list, great non-alcoholic drinks as well. Plus, of course, the food, Arabic meza appetizer, the chicken and lamb dishes are usually to die for as well. It's just a great experience all around. Now, not only is Qatar Airways one of the best airlines and Q Suites the best business class, but the ability to redeem 70,000 avios for a one-way flight in Q Suites from North America to the Middle East is one of the best sweet spots in the entire game. And so if you're looking for a fast track to one of the best luxury experiences out there, then this is a section you'll want to pay attention to. The best way to earn that 70,000 avios required for that one-way flight is to earn RBC Avion points if you're based here in Canada. RBC Avion points transfer one-to-one -one over to British Airways Avios, and then once you have British Airways Avios, you can either redeem directly for Q-Suites, or you can transfer these points further over into Qatar Airways Avios, which might give you a little bit more availability to choose from when you're actually searching for the flight you want to book. Right now, RBC offers a welcome bonus of up to 55,000 Avion points on the RBC Avion Visa Infinite card and the RBC Avion Visa Platinum. You'll earn 35,000 Avion points upon approval, plus another 20,000 points upon spending $5,000. And that first chunk of 35,000 points is honestly one of the easiest set of points to get in Canada because there's no spend associated with it. It's just granted to you upon approval. And the best part is sometimes RBC Avion even offers a transfer bonus over to British Airways Avios. And a transfer bonus is something you've always got to pay attention to because it's effectively a way to instantly multiply the value of your points. We've seen transfer bonuses in the past of up to 30%. So if you were to stumble upon a transfer bonus at the right time, you could transfer 54,000 Avion points over to British Airways and get 70,000 avios on the other end, which you can go ahead and redeem for Q-Suites. Again, Q-Suites is one of the best flight experiences out there. I've experienced it about five or six times and I've never had a bad flight. And I'm just hopeful that this video and this channel overall can help you have the same experience once you've taken everything we've talked about and implemented it, put it into action and find yourself sitting in that Q-Suite with your loved one by your side and sipping that rosé. And finally, number five best way to redeem your points. This is gonna be less sexy, more utilitarian, but there's a time and place for each of these strategies, so let's dig into it. That's of course using fixed value points to redeem for things outside of aspirational flights and hotels, but still covering your travel costs and extending your travel possibilities further. There are cases after all where redeeming points for flights and hotels might not make sense. Here's an example. If you're somebody who wants to take one trip to Europe and one trip to Southeast Asia during a given year, it might make more sense to allocate your points towards your European trip where the cash costs of traveling to Europe are gonna be relatively higher and then just pay cash for stuff in Southeast Asia because things are generally cheaper and your budget goes much further. If you're traveling within Southeast Asia, for example, then a flight might just cost you 50 or $100. It might not make sense to spring for business class on that, but what if there was a way to still cover that 50 to $100 expense using your points? That's where points programs like Scotiabank Scene Plus or CIBC Aventura or TD Rewards come into play. The best cards to get for these purposes are gonna be the cards associated with these programs that I just mentioned. For example, the Scotiabank Passport Visa Infinite card, whose Scene Plus points can be redeemed for any travel purchase after the fact, even Uber rides that you charge to the card at a ratio of one cent per point. This card also offers the benefit of no foreign exchange fees, so it's great for spending when you're traveling abroad. Then there's also the CIBC Aventura Visa Infinite card. Until March 31st, 2024, you can actually redeem these points at an elevated rate of 1.25 cents per point against pending travel purchases. Plus the card also offers four visits per year to an airport lounge and its $139 annual fee is waived for the first year. The TD First Class Visa Infinite card offers TD rewards points. It's offered a welcome bonus as high as 135,000 points in the past. Check out the latest offer in the link in the description below. But the point is 135,000 TD rewards points is worth about $675 towards any travel booked through the Expedia for TD travel portal. So it's certainly nothing to scoff at and can come in very handy as a supplement to all of your aspirational flight and hotel plans that you're booking through Aeroplan, Flying Blue, and Marriott Bonvoy. So those are the five most valuable ways to redeem your points as a Canadian. Make sure to focus on these five and don't get distracted by other possibilities of redeeming your points like gift cards and merchandise, Amazon credit, stuff like that. In fact, that's an example of a key mistake that you want to avoid as you're embarking on your journey to maximize your points and travel the world. If you want to know the seven key mistakes that I wish I knew when I was first starting out on this journey, check out this video next and I'll see you over in that video.